ao chego. O botani, o lucore, é do dimu e me fe. Bele de sui, roda o pada solo pe. Awayo de mungu. Immortal, invisible, the only wise God. The great deliverer, the great protector, the great redeemer, the great defender, the great provider. Unto you be our praises, honor, and adoration tonight. We look up to you for what only you can do. We, your children, have come tonight because you are the giver of children. And tonight we look up to you, God of grace. Your children want you to do what you are capable of doing in meeting their marital needs. Please arise in all wonders. And attend to their cry tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we believe with you all things are possible. And for this reason, we are begging you for your mercy. In other ways, we have sinned against you that you will pardon us and redeem us with the blood of the covenant. At the end of our cry tonight, Father, let testimony follow us. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. People of God, I'm not going to take too long of your time. But I want you to prepare to pray. We needed serious prayers. Like you have been told the world we are is more spiritual than the physical. In fact, when you see issues happening around, you will know that truly the spiritual controls the physical. And like I told you some time ago, hardly will you see any man, any great man, successful man in the land of the living that does not belong to one spiritual society. Or the other. So if you are saying, I am alone, lie, you cannot be. Because there is a spirit within you, created there by God, 
and there are spirits attached to you by your enemies to ensure the implementation of their wish over one's life. Then we also have some spirits that by themselves attach themselves to us. Like you were told last week, Monday, some will come as spiritual wives and some will come as physical wives but that has been planned or planted from the realm of the spirit. Some will also come as spiritual husband and we also have physical husband aside from the spiritual realm. But to get yourself free or liberated from all this entanglement, we needed our spirit to be alive in the power of God. If your spirit are not carrying the power the fire of God as it ought to, then <laughs> it will go through a lot. Then we also have some people that you were born together in the same family. Who knows the realm of the spirit more than you do? You know, quite a number of us, before we become what we are in Christ, several years the enemy has taken from us because we do not know God. And so many a times when you have somebody inviting you to the knowledge of God, you ignore them. Now, all these people that we were born together knows whom you are and what God has destined you to be in the spirit. And all they needed to do is to make themselves available in the realm of the spirit to be your problem. Like you were told, is it on Friday now or, or Thursday? The word of Isaac to Esau. That after you have become strong, you will break the yoke of Jacob from your neck. Jacob was a sibling. He has been his problem from birth. So, even right in the womb. So, if you are not strong in the power of God, it becomes difficult. You know them. I know them very well. You know, when you come in contact with them, many of them pretend as if they are the, they are the secretary of Jesus Christ. That is... They are in the they, 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 they have been in the same panel of heaven with Yeshua God and the Holy Spirit with the rest of the angels. Some will appear to you very quiet and very calm, no matter what you do, they will not voice out. And meanwhile, they are disaster. Even the devil himself is not as wicked. As this set of people. It is my prayer tonight that the Almighty God, in His magnanimity, will deliver all of us 
from this set of people in the name of Jesus Christ. People of God, when you have become very strong in the power of God, no wonder I told you last week that the book where 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 we've been reading Proverbs chapter twenty verse twenty seven tells us that the spirit of a man is the candlestick of God. And Ephesians chapter 6, when you read from verse 10, told us that finally, brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Don't be ordinary person. Don't be a mere man. Being strong in the Lord is that you carrying the strength of the Lord within you. Let your weight be the weight of the Lord. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. That is, let the mightiness of God be fully identified within you, both in the physical and in the spiritual. He was saying that you should have the strength of God to carry the same armor that God himself is wearing. Put on the old armor of God. The old armor. For you to stand against the powers of the devil. In other words, when you are wearing the same armor that God is wearing, it is that time that you conquer the powers of the enemy. I want you to cry to God. Father, I know I offended you a lot. Tonight, I return to you for mercy. Please, Father, have mercy on me. Shall we go ahead and pray? My Father, my God, I beg for your mercy. I know I offended you a lot. And for this reason, I am begging for your mercy. Please have mercy on me. King of kings, Lord of all, Lord, I am that I am. Please have mercy on me. I cry for your mercy. Your mercy and your mercy alone. Please have mercy on me. Only one in heaven. Please have mercy on me. I ask for your mercy. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me, King of Glory. 
Have mercy on me, everlasting Father. Have mercy on me, mighty one in heaven. Please have mercy on me. I beg you tonight that you will have mercy on these your children. It is written that your mercy is from everlasting to everlasting. Please have mercy on these your children. Ancient of days, please have mercy on them. My Father, I cry to you that you will have mercy on this, your children. Thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I want us to cry and speak to God. Father, whatever it will take. You know, my father said I should not use the word whatever it will take. He said command. Father, tonight, by fire, by force, set me free from the spirit of barrenness. Shall we go ahead and pray? Please go ahead and pray. You know, I, I, I have come to know that barrenness is not only limited to childbearing. We have so many people that are barren Financially, if everybody is doing a business and they go into it, it will not work. Even all this online business, if they go into it, it is at the time that they join that that thing will be having issues. That is the spirit of barrenness. So it is beyond childbearing. My father, I cry to you tonight. Arise and deliver me from the spirit of barrenness. Tonight. Let me be delivered. Holy Ghost, deliver me. Holy Ghost, deliver me. Holy Ghost, please deliver me. Arise this very night and deliver me. Rock of Ages, please deliver me. Excellent Lord, I cry to you. Please deliver me. King of Kings, please deliver me. Arise in the standard of your spirit and let me be delivered tonight. Deliver me, Almighty God, from every spirit of barrenness. Lily of the valley, I beg you that you will rise. And deliver this, your children, from the spirit of barrenness. Oh, my God. 
In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I want to use a word. And uh, I have a reason for using it. You know, according to the word of God, angels are spirits. Angels are spirits. According to his word. And so, I want you to really cry to him. Tonight, I say, Father, Spirit, your Spirit, your Spirit that corrected the error in the womb of Sarah. Your Spirit that corrected. The error in the womb of Rebecca. Your spirit that corrected the error in the womb of Rachel. Release them tonight to correct every error in my womb. Go ahead and pray. My father, I cry to you that you will release them tonight. Your spirit that corrected the error in the womb of Sarah. Your spirit that corrected the error in the womb of Rebecca. Your spirit that corrected the error in the womb of Rachel. You also did it for Mary. Father, I beg you tonight, correct every error in the womb of this year, children, this very night. Please, my Father, let the Spirit correct the error. Let the womb be corrected. Every error in their womb let it be corrected tonight. Hey, <laughs> I don't know why my father is giving me this word, though. <laughs> hey. I want you to cry to him. He's telling me something. And I don't want to swallow it. Father, let my next meeting receive the fire of fertilization. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. My Father, I beg you that the next meeting of this, your children, will receive the fire of fertilization. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Excellent Father. Please let the next meeting receive the fire of fertilization. I beg you, King of Kings, Please let the next meeting receive the fire of fertilization. 
every one of these your children looking up to you for the fruit of the womb? Father, let their next meeting receive the fire of fertilization. In the name of Jesus Christ, I beg you, my Father, my God, Please let the earnest meeting receive the fire of fertilization. Thank you, my father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I want you to cry to God. Father, Deliver me from spirit or spirit. Deliver me from spiritual wives, wife of the spirit. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. I beg you, my God and my Savior, that you will rise and deliver this, your children, from spiritual wives, spiritual husband, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, arise and deliver them from spiritual wives, spiritual husband, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Please arise, King of glory. Set them free, Lord. Let them be delivered. King of glory, please deliver them. I call upon you, my Father, my God. Deliver them. I... I, I, I want you to cry to God again. Spirit that is preventing childbearing in me. Holy Ghost, by fire, relieve them of their evil duties in my life. Go ahead and pray. My Father, Every spirit that is working against childbearing in this your children. Lily of the Valley. Arise in the standard of your spirit. And let them be utterly destroyed. King of kings, I beg you tonight, every spirit that is preventing fertilization, preventing childbearing in the life of this, your children, let your fire destroy. Holy Ghost, arise and destroy them by fire. I beg you, Rock of Ages, every spirit preventing childbearing in this your children, let them be destroyed by fire. Destroy them by fire. Destroy them by fire. Destroy them by fire. Oh my God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. 
say. The Lord is speaking to me about somebody. I saw a hand. I don't know why. From one of the siblings. Okay. Let me use the word blood. From the blood. Placing, being placed on this person's head. And the Lord is telling me that every evil that has ever happened in the person's life is as a result of that hand. I want you to cry to him tonight. Holy Ghost, let your disaster visit every evil man or woman that has placed a stop on my life. Go ahead and pray. When, when, when the life of a man is placed on a stop, it means so many things will not work. But there are some that has a specific direction. And they will be applying medications but because there is a stop, it will not be working. Holy Ghost, I beg you tonight. Everyone that place a stop on the head of this your children, Holy Ghost, visit them with disaster. My father, I beg you, please visit them with disaster. Oh, my God. Oh, my Father, I beg you tonight. Everyone placing a stop on this your children. Visit them with disaster. Lift the evil hand off their head tonight. Go ahead and pray. Every evil hand placed on my womb. Be lifted by fire. Go ahead and pray, please. Every evil hand in the physical or in the spiritual place on the womb of this your children. Lord, I declare, let them be moved by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let them be moved by fire. Almighty God, I beg you, every hand placed on their womb, every spiritual hand placed on this womb, working against conception, be lifted by fire. Right now, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare be lifted by fire. Be lifted by fire. Oh yeah, I want you to place your hand on that your womb. And if there's anybody joining us that nothing is really working on your hand, you place the two hands together while you pray. Place your hand on your womb. 
you this womb obey the word of God. Be fruitful and multiply. Go ahead, go ahead. And if you are joining us, you are play, praying, yours is not that of a child, then you, you put your hands together and make that declaration. You this ends, hear the word of the Lord. Be fruitful and multiply. Go ahead and pray, go ahead and pray. In the name that is above every other name, I speak to all this womb and all this ends. Be fruitful. Obey the word of God. I command you tonight, obey the word of God. You this womb, obey the word of God. You this ends, obey the word of God. I speak to you. If yours is prayed on your hand, speak to it. Be fruitful. I speak to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you this ends, obey the word of God. Be fruitful and multiply. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command you to be fruitful and multiply. I declare tonight, be fruitful. And multiply. I speak to you. You this ends. You this womb. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Be fruitful. And multiply. Be fruitful. And multiply. I declare in the name of Jesus Christ. You this womb. You this ends, be fruitful and multiply. Be fruitful and multiply. Be fruitful and multiply. Be fruitful and multiply. Ah, e kawe le bando yi o, e kawe le bando yi o dara, e kawe le bando yi o odo yoje o agbala bulu o. Oh my God. It is written that Jesus said, lose him and let him go. I command every spirit holding my, my womb bound. Every spirit holding my hands bound. Lose it and let it go. Go ahead, go ahead. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak to every spirit holding these wolves bound. Hey, lose it and let it go. I command every spirit holding these hands bound. Lose it and let it go. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you, lose it and let it go. By the covenant blood of the Lamb of God, I command you to lose the womb 
and let it go. Lose the hands and let it go. By fire, by force. Holy Ghost, compel my enemy only to fulfill the mind of God in my life. Go ahead and pray. Holy Ghost, by fire, by force, compel their enemies to fulfill the mind of God in their lives. Holy Ghost, I beg you, please arise and compel all their enemies to fulfill only the mind of God in their lives. Fulfill only the mind of God in their lives. Abba Father, I beg you tonight that you will compel all their enemies to fulfill only the mind of God in their lives. I want you to ask God I demand for children of glory. Oh, my father. Yekele Makashata. Indo Romoko Yekakaromo Koruta Le Makashanta. Inderima kuri bashanta kalia. Father, every part of my reproductive organ that cannot be repaired, that cannot be, be healed, Holy Ghost, remove and replace. Remove it and renew it. Rock of Ages, I beg you. Every part of your children's reproductive organs that cannot be healed, that cannot be cured. Holy Ghost, remove and replace with new one. You have, Lord of us, the spare part of human with you. I therefore beg you for their sake tonight that you will remove and replace with new one. King of glory. Every part of their body, their, their body, their reproductive organs that cannot be killed. Please remove and replace with new one. Remove and replace with new one. In the name of Jesus Christ, please remove and replace with new one. Please cry to him. Holy Ghost, come for my release. Set me free from the bondage of the spirit preventing my child bearing. I beg you tonight, set me free 
emi mi ma ba mi tun won le la leyi kuro ninu igbeku eni e to di se so lowo ninu aye won aye raye tun won le oba won oba o dide tu awon eniyan won sile ninu igbeku emi to one le ni nu ide emi e to di si so lowo ninu aye won arise set them free from spiritual shame that is preventing child bearing in their lives set them free tonight only one of Israel. Please set them free tonight. Abba Father, please set them free tonight. I beg you, immortal, invisible, the only wise God. Please set them free tonight. Excellent Lord, please set them free tonight. Set them free tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Oh my God, thank you. I want you to declare two more prayer points. No more miscarriage. Go ahead and declare. For those of us who do not, who your issue is not fruit of the womb, that you only need your hand, that whatever you lay your hand upon to prosper. <laughs> you speak to that hand. Father, no more miscarriage. And for our waiting mothers, you declare no more miscarriage in your womb. Yes, no more miscarriage. King of glory, I beg you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, no more miscarriage in the lives of these your children. No more miscarriage, Lord of hosts. No more miscarriage. My Father, my God, I cry to you in their lives. No more miscarriage. Speak to the womb, speak to the womb. Speak to the womb. No more miscarriage. No more miscarriage. No more miscarriage. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Now I want you to pray and speak to God. Place the hand on it my father i join my hand to the hand of this your children and let your power that is flowing in my hand be connected to theirs too tonight and let it work out wonders so if it is your hand that whatever you lay your hand upon you want it to prosper you put the two hands together and for those of us who are waiting for the fruit of the womb, and you place the hand on your stomach. By the power of the Holy Ghost, receive your baby. Go ahead and declare. Yes. Receive your twins. Receive your triplets. Receive your quadruplets. In the name of Jesus Christ. Receive your core duplet in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak to you, you this womb. I speak to you, you the saints. Yes, receive your babies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive your babies. I command you 
to receive your babies. In the mighty name of the Lord of hosts, receive your babies. Receive your babies. Thank you, Holy Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. King of glory, you have heard the cry of your children tonight. Please, let your zeal bring our request to pass. Whatever we ask of you tonight, arise and do it by fire. O oh God of all wonders, let your wonder locate all these your children. Father, I beg you, by this time, nine more time, give them their babies. Give them a twins. Give them a triplet. Give them a quadruplet. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray for all your children that are helping us one way or the other on this platform. Those who are financing the project, God of all wonders, please locate their lives. That miracle, O oh Lord, the desire for their lives and family, please bring them to pass for them. Let your favor continually speak on your children's behalf. Fight all their battles. Holy Ghost, before the daybreak, let there be wonders. I thank you, Holy Father, because you have done this. And glory be to your holy name, my Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen and amen. People of God, tomorrow is my children must be great. The Almighty God will bless you abundantly as you join us in all these programs. Wednesday for healing, special miracles and deliverance. And on Thursday is fight to finish. Friday I will not return empty. The Lord will shower his goodness upon all of us in the name of Jesus Christ. Please quickly unmute your line and let's share the goodness together. Kindly unmute your line and let's share the goodness together. Want to go? Surely, His goodness and mercy shall follow us in all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever. Amen. Shall we share the grace with the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God? And the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever. Amen. Nine glorious hallelujah. Nine glorious hallelujah. Want to go? Hallelujah. 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 God bless you. I'll see you later today. It is well with you. It is well with you.